عدد أنفاسهم وألفاظهم وألحاظهم من يوم خلقت الدنيا إلى يوم القيامة رسول اکرام علیه بی محترم صلی الله تعالی و سلم فنی مسالمت دنیا عزیز پاک من اول متأهل رو شرف دن سلوات شرف گیتران در آخر و آکبرت در های ولاد. حال از واجد تأخرت در دادو رسول سعی زن فنی در مزین سایر میای زن و رسول فیان حاضرات در وار شرف دن پیرمیز بیله الله بر شری الله فنی مزین و علی رسول بی باعث جامیز و بو نکادر چرسین دن گل میشه که چی من مزین کاملانن ve kahve ehlinin vahe ervahı sahibu seyf şaptur kelime kıbızer Rabbani Hazretleri için Allah rızası için el Fatiha Yavuzu billahi bineşşeytanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Minnallaha ve melaikete ve yüsennun alem nebi Ya eyyüllezine amunu sallu aleyhi ve sellim o teslima اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى سيدنا محمد. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله. أشهد أن لا موسیقی يا أيها المؤمن الحاضرون اتقوا الله تعالى وتئن الله ما الذين تقوى الذين هم محسنون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء المرسلين سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين All praises are due to Allah Lord of the universes All praises are due to Allah Who is the first, the last, the manifest, the hidden The one who has might and power over all things all praises are due to Allah who sent his chosen prophet, Sayyidina Muhammad as a bearer of glad tidings and as a warner. And may all peace and blessings be upon the Imam of the prophets, the master of the messengers, the most noble in all of creation, the lamp of guidance, the intercessor of the day of judgment, Sayyidina Muhammad as and upon his noble family and blessed companions, especially upon the four Khulafa Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Umar Farooq, Hazrat Osman Al Ghani, and Hazrat Ali Al Murtaza, and all those who follow them until the last day. Ya Yuhal Mu'minun, welcome to you on the day of Juma, in the month of Jumat Al Awal. Welcome to you as we are less than 40 days away from the entrance of the holy month of Rajab at the beginning of the three holy months. O believers, the Holy Prophet والسلام, said in Hadith Sharif, religion is sincerity. So the Sahaba Kiram asked, to whom, Ya Rasulullah? And he والسلام, said, to Allah, to his book, to his prophet, 
to the leader of the Muslims and to the general people. And in another hadith sharif he is saying, alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever removes himself from the jama'at by a hand span, then he has taken Islam off from his neck until he returns. Whoever dies and does not have a leader of the jama'at over him, then his death is a death of jahiliyyah. He is also warning us, saying, whoever separates from the jama'at and leaves obedience to the leader of the Muslims and dies, then he dies the death of one of the jahiliyyah. And whoever sets out against my ummah with his sword and strikes the good of them and the evil of them, not keeping away from a believer due to his iman, and does not fulfill the promise with the one who took it, then he is not for my ummah. And whoever is killed while under a flag of ignorance, getting angry for the sake of tribalism, which in today's understanding is nationalism, or fighting for the sake of tribalism, or calling to tribalism, then his death is that of a jahiliyyah. And the Prophet speaks the truth. O believers, we have just passed through the commemoration of a day when all these warnings of the Holy Prophet والسلام, it came true. We passed through a day when the Ummah lost its sincerity with his Lord, with his book, with his prophet, with the rightly guided leader, and with the people. We have passed through a day when everyone separated from the Jama'at and left the obedience to the leader of the Muslims, and when the gates of the second Jahiliya were flung open. What are we talking about? Majority of the Muslims, they don't know. Majority of the Muslims, they don't want to know. And the majority of the Muslims, they don't care. Because the majority of the Muslim leaders, the majority of the Muslim sheikhs, and the majority of the Muslim imams and scholars, they are not leading the people. And they want the people to be more in a sleeping station. What are we talking about? We are talking about the date that the last Khalifa of Islam, the last in an unbroken line of the representatives of Allah and His Prophet, stretching all the way from Hazrat to Abu Bakr, we are passing through the day when the office of the Hilafat was veiled. We pass through the day when the last Ottoman Khalifa, Sultan Abdul Majid II, was taken out of his palace in the dead of the night placed upon a train with his family and exiled from the lands of Islam. What was the aim of those who worked day and night to take the Hilafat away from this world? What was the aim? One of the most important British ministers after the Hilafat was taken away said, Turkey is finished. From now on, Turkey will not be able to straighten its spine because we have destroyed Turkey's moral strength and political strength, Islam and the Hilafat. And with the help of the traitors, from the hypocritical scholars to the political traitors, the enemies of Islam, they reach an aim that they had been seeking for hundreds of years. And what came instead? What came after the Hilafat was removed from this world? We must know. We must be aware. Because as Holy Prophet is saying, you cannot fool a believer because he looks with the nur of Allah. So we have to look and understand and see when the Hilafat is not there, what is there? The man of understanding sees right away that once the Hilafat was veiled from this world, the time of Dajjal started. The Holy Prophet is saying in his hadith sharif I warn you of Dajjal. And there was no prophet, but he warned his followers of Dajjal. And I will tell you something about him, which no prophet has told his followers. 
Dajjal is one-eyed, whereas Allah is not. So all the prophets, they warn their nations about Dajjal. All the prophets, for thousands of years, all 124,000 prophets, they have all spoken about Dajjal. And you cannot speak about Dajjal without speaking about Mahdi alayhi salam. For thousands of years to all their followers. But nobody is warning about Dajjal today. Nobody is making the people aware about Dajjal today. Nobody is making the Ummat to understand that we are living in the time of Dajjal. Everyone is acting like we are in the best time for Islam. From the scholars to so-called shaykhs to normal people, nobody is warning about Dajjal and giving people the ammunition to protect themselves from Dajjal. One exception is our grand shaykh, Sultan al-Awliya, and our shaykh, Sahib al-Sayf, and all those who follow them correctly. Our Shaykh is warning us about Dajjal all the time, making us to be sure that we are aware of the tricks and the traps of Dajjal that are around us. And he is teaching us in his sohbat saying, people don't have fear from Allah. They don't have strong faith to Allah. Whatever side is there, Dajjal or Mahdi, it doesn't matter. They move to whoever promises something. One day they're on the side of Mahdi's workers and one day they're on the side of Dajjal's workers. Don't be from those ones. And if you are from those ones, then wake up and turn around because the Holy Prophet is saying, when the last days will be approaching, that's exactly what's going to happen. People are going to move from one side to another. One side to another. Make sure you stand on the side of Haq when the takbir is taken. You will not be with Dajjal and the ones that are around him. Dajjal is going to come in so many different forms to Christians, different. To Muslims, to Jews, completely different. Be careful, we are in those days. The Prophet ﷺ was talking to the Sahabi Kiram about the confusion of Dajjal so much that the Sahabi Kiram was saying, we thought that Dajjal was behind the date trees. As soon as the Prophet is leaving, he's going to come out. It passed 1400 years. It is now the time. All the deputies of Dajjal, they have appeared. You need eyes to see. So many are running after those ones. Watch yourself. Watch your step. You are responsible from your life. Either you enter to paradise or you build yourself to hell. Whichever side you fall into, that shows your faith. And with that faith, you cannot pass the sirat. These words are for you, for me, and for the whole mankind. And the friends of Allah speak the truth. O oh, believers, these are the dark days that we are living in. We need to protect ourselves and run to places of protection. Protection is not in the scholarly learning. Protection is not in organizing conferences. Protection is not in mega maulids. Protection is where the Holy Prophet ﷺ told us to find protection. And he said, truly, my Ahlul Bayt, they are like the ship of Nuh. Whoever goes to them is saved. So we need to be in association with a friend of Allah. That is the protection at the end of times. Because only the friends of Allah, they have the true vision for the end of times. And they are receiving knowledge and following the Holy Prophet in front of them. As Shaykh Fendi is saying, the guide is that one who sees. That's what Shaykh means. Shaykh is the one who sees ahead. Is not an ordinary person seeing, no. If Shaykh has the ordinary vision too, then it's no good. That is a jubba shaykh, zikir shaykh, but not a murshid. Murshid is that one who knows when the road comes to a fork, which way to turn. He sees the light going ahead, and the Holy Prophet ﷺ is holding the torch. 
Oh, believers, these are the worst times that this world has ever seen. And the days are going to become more dark before the good days they come. But if we stay with our guide, with our sheikh, with our murid, if we walk behind him and follow that light from the Holy Prophet, والسلام, we will be in safety. And remember that good days are coming to those who are obedient. Sheikh Hendi is giving us the good news, saying those who are running after this world, they don't have too much time. Those who are running from Mawla, they have great days waiting for them. It's not only what is coming with Mahdi salam, but what he is bringing after too. Anyone who has tyranny in their hearts, some way, somehow, to any one of us, to any one of them or to someone at all, they should prepare themselves for that punishment. Turn yourself, saying, Ya Rabbi, I'm asking help and support from you against this tyranny that is inside of me. Clean me from that. Then you will be counted in the book as the people of Mahdi. And you will be amongst those that the Holy Prophet ﷺ praised. And he's giving salams, saying to his sahabi, I cannot wait to meet my brothers in the judgment day. They said, Ya Rasulullah, aren't we your brothers? He said, no, you are my sahabis. You are my companions. My brothers are those who are going to come in the Ahir Zaman everywhere. Everything is going to be for their ego, but they are going to leave that way and they are going to run. They are going to hold on tightly to my traditions. Those are my brothers. And he said to them, I am giving them salams in front of you. Holy Prophet والسلام, is sending salams to us. Whoever is coming until the end of times. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh, ya Rasulullah. We are sending salams back to him. Endless salams. Endless salams to our grand sheikh and endless salams to our sheikh. May we always hold on to his rope. May we never be separated dunya and ahirat. May all sincere people be holding on to that rope. Make no mistake, that rope in these days is one of the very, 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 very few ropes that is holding everyone together to keep them in safety, dunya and ahirat. May Allah forgive us. Astaghfirullah, 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 lazim, lazim. La ilaha illahu al-hayl karim wa atubu alayhi. Tawbatan Allah. لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك والحمد كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك والحمد كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك والحمد كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك أنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك أنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك أنت من الظالمين سبحة كدوس نبى نرب الملائكة تورو سبحة كدوس نبى نرب الملائكة تورو سبحة كدوس نبى نرب الملائكة تورو إن دين إن الله يسمع قام صلاة وسلام. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر شو أن لا إله إلا الله شو أن لا إله إلا الله شو أن محمد رسول الله شو أن محمد رسول الله. هيا على السلام هيا على السلام هيا على الفلاح هيا على الفلاح. ودي قام السلام تو ودي قام السلام الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله.